Good afternoon, everyone. Farmer son, farmer son prepping here. Just got back from church. Good Lord's Day. Good, good church today. Awesome discussions. I love those days when we have awesome discussions. You know, it'd probably just be easier for me not to make this video. It'd be easier for me to just not make, not bring this up at all. Uh, but I want to talk about weak Christians. And look, I'm not saying I'm better or holier or anything better than anybody else. Let me get that out of the way. I'm a sinner. The Bible says I'm a sinner. And I am. But I'm a sinner saved by grace. Paul, or Saul, Paul considered himself chief among all sinners. It's in our nature. It's in human nature to sin. That's a fact. What I want to talk about today is weak Christians. Something happened at church today. Uh, my pastor said something to the effect of God is more liberal now than he has ever been. And the Holy Spirit within me was not going to let me sit there without correcting him on that. Yes, you can correct your pastors when they're wrong. Pastors say things that are incorrect scripturally. It happens. The Holy Spirit jumped up within me and said, Heresy, right from the get-go. But I, I toned it down, and I said, I threw my hand up. I said, I said, I disagree with that, Pastor. And then I explained, you know, God has been the way he is from day one. Or actually, since before time, if you really want to get technical about it. Because God is not on our timeline. God created time. He's, he's away from time. Anyway. Uh, and you know what? After I explained it, he said, you're right, brother. And he said, my name. And he said, but uh, it's, not, it's not God that's more liberal than it has ever been. It's just the way this world is now. So anyhow, uh, and then he referred to me as a strong Christian. Thank God for strong Christian people and stuff that's what he said. But I'm no stronger than anybody else. And it ain't even me. I can't even give myself credit for that. That's the Holy Spirit within me that makes stuff jump up in front of me and go, hey, this is wrong. Hey, this is incorrect. Hey, this is heresy. This is lies. That's the Holy Spirit that that works that way within inside of me. But there are some, some, some weak Christians out there. And I, I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. Let me say it again. But, so what is a weak Christian? Hmm. Let me draw you a picture. Y'all ever watch the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet? Well, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even think they cover this stuff anymore. But, you know, back in the day, you'd watch, uh, you know, nature shows and stuff. Uh, you know, you watch the wildebeests. There's one little wildebeest that's sickly and way behind the pack or herd, whatever it is they're called. Herd. They're way back behind the herd. They're sickly. A small little wildebeest calf. That is the one that the hyenas and the wolves and the coyotes jump on. They won't take on the strongest ones of the group. They'll take on the weakest ones. And as a weak Christian, that's 
that's the one you are. You're the one that doesn't go to church. You're the one that watches uh, something godly on TV or maybe on YouTube. And I'm not, I'm not saying you can't watch stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of good things that you can learn and watch on YouTube. Uh, there's lots. I mean, hey, I watch John Hagee. That's on TV. Anyway, I'm not downing the people that do that. But you have these people that don't go to the church. The church. And I'm not talking about some building over here. It's a little white building, whatever. I'm not talking about some little building. I'm talking about the people inside. What y'all got to understand, the people inside those buildings on Sunday morning, that's the church. Those are the ones who can be there for you, edify you. That means to build up, to pray with you, pray for you. How people live without a church, church family, I do not understand it. I can't comprehend it. But I know a lot of people are just searching. They're just out there searching for answers. I was one of those at one time. They're just out there searching. Uh, yeah, I was taught there was a God. Yeah, there's some guy named Jesus that happened, I don't know, 2,000 years ago. You can know of the Lord, but not know Him. As in, have a relationship with. I don't know, the Lord put it on my heart today, y'all, to talk about weaker Christians. If you're wondering why, it seems like you're always the one getting pounced on. You try to do right, but you're getting pounced on all the time. Devil's pouncing on you. Things are breaking. Cars breaking down. You know, people dying in your family. Things going wrong. You feel like you're the one that's getting pounced on all the time. There might be a reason for that. I'm not saying, anyway, all I'm saying is take account of your spiritual life. Uh, are you going to the church? And, yeah, you'll hear the argument, well, you know, I went to church and, you know, da 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 it's a bunch of hypocrites. You're absolutely right. None of us are perfect. Churches aren't shrines for the righteous we are a hospital for the broken nobody needs the church more than broken people okay wish y'all would understand that but it's it's been here lately i can't put this down uh and it's 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 important more important now than it ever has been uh, to, to get the word this may not always be with us I mean in the physical form you may not always have books we may not always have a bible to go to you better be putting it in here or in here Wh whichever one stores your memories or you know I don't know anyway you need to have these words written upon your heart because physical things may not always be. Find yourself a body of believers. I don't care what the title is. Just find one that believes and teaches this. And go there. And meet people. And be a part of the church. And may blessings flow. I hope. I hope this is for somebody. I don't know who it's for, but it's important. It's more important than it has ever been. Things are coming. Events are about to happen. That if you don't have this, then you will be deceived. The Bible talks about it in Thessalonians. The 
the Antichrist is going to come down. He's going to pull lightning down from heaven and thunder and rain fire down. And people are going to worship him. Do you know the difference between the real Savior and the fake one? It's in here. It's all in here. So, like I said, events are going to happen. And these things will take place whether I'm here or not. You're going to need to know what's right and what's wrong. You're going to need to know what's right and what's wrong. Not according to our law, not according to the Constitution, but according to what he has said already. His word. It's going to be important. You're going to be the one that takes the mark and falls for the Antichrist. It's a little trick that he's going to pull. Are you going to be the one that goes, no, I'll starve. I'm not going to take that. You know, God is on my side. If God is for us, who can be against us? You're going to be of that crowd. The time is now. And let me tell you, God will let you choose hell. Read Romans chapter 1. God is clear. He will let you choose hell and... Or he will let you choose sin and hell thereafter. Let me put it that way. God will turn you over eventually. If you keep choosing sin over God, he will eventually say, Okay, have your wickedness. Lay with another man. Do whatever you want. That is your choice that you have made. Y'all, this world... Choose Jesus. Choose to believe the only begotten Son of God. Or perish. Y'all be with you today. It's former son prepping. I got a pizza in the oven in yonder. It smells like it's getting ready. God bless you all is my prayer. And I pray that God reveals himself to you. Whether through this or whether something anyone can do or say, I pray he reveals himself to you today. Have a blessed Lord's Day.